Hey what's up everybody this is Always back with another video so today I'm doing a quick tutorial of AutoCAD 360 available on Windows 10 so to download this application all you have to do is just go to Windows Store and type AutoCAD 360 on search bar and then click on install and launch the application so I've already installed that let's go and launch the application and check it out so this is AutoCAD 360 it's a free version I uh, don't have a paid version so that's why it's very basic so right now just first thing what you need to do is click here and then you need to make sure that you sign into your Autodesk uh, 360 account and then you will be able to read your files and you will be able to open AutoCAD DWG DFX files in this app so to create a new file click on this plus icon and type the name let's say I'll type plan and down here just want to mention here that you can access your OneDrive files Google Drive files and Dropbox files. so if you have any DWG files in those three cloud-based storage so you can access them as well so let's click on confirm to create that file it's going to create a new file for us taking a bit longer okay so this is the file we have right now so we have one panel on the left draw annotate major dimension then we got layers option here then we got export options and we can share your files as well on the right we got this menu which has layers blocks view properties and settings so we'll check them out one by one so first let's check out this draw panel so if I click on it I get this align polyline rectangle arc circle smart pen options which are really basic to make a 2d plan you need few more commands such as fillet chamfer extend trim offset if you have these four commands like I did a video about AutoCAD 360 on Android so in that video you can see that we have those commands in AutoCAD 360 because that was a AutoCAD 360 pro version you get 30 day trial to check them out but in windows i couldn't find and i couldn't get 30 day trial uh, the reason why because i already uh, actually used 30 day trial before on android so that's why but if you sign up with your new email account then you will get 30 day trial for those pro versions well right now let's check it out so i'm gonna create a line let me just get rid of this menu first let's create a line here so to create a line if I click anywhere on the black area then I get this option length and angle right so let's say I want to create a line about 10 okay and then I can tie the angle of the line so if you want to make that 90 degree I can type 90 degree you can try 45 degree to make that on 45 degrees okay so let's click on done I'm going to get rid of this line for now okay let's go to the setting tab and then here unit make sure you select the right units for you so if you are opening any AutoCAD file and the units were inches and that will automatically detect the inches for you but if you are creating a new file in this app you need to select the units for that so I'm gonna select inches and let's go back to create a line so click on draw menu now and let's create a polyline now so I'm going to start polyline from here and now let's go down to this menu and I'm going to try creating a rectangle. So 10 feet, I'm going to make that on 90 degree angle. Let me just zoom out. So you can use your mouse wheel to zoom out and zoom in. If you scroll up, zoom up in. And if you scroll down, you will zoom out. And then if you press that and then move it around, that's going to be a pan function. Okay, so let's... Uh, actually delete that let me just start over again so let's go and select the polyline start from here and let's click on this menu 10 feet and I'm going to make that on a 90 degree angle right and now click on this plus icon or add button right and then press 10 feet and that's fine click again add again let's go change 10 feet and then now here I'm going to type the angle 270 because I want this to come all the way down so let's add again and now 10 feet again and now angle should be 180 right okay so let's click on done there you go so you have created your rectangle with polyline in this app let's get rid of this 
let's check out a uh, rectangle simple you got height and weight option here so type height and weight is 20 feet so that's the rectangle you got all right now we have a uh, arc as well so you create an arc very simple very basic stuff here so circle all right now you have radius and in feet and inches right let's get rid of that circle as well now let's choose the smart pan so smart pan is basically you know in autocad it's pretty simple all you have to do is just click 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 and then it will make some lines for you so let's undo so there's an undo button as well so okay now we have uh, annotation panel measure dimension okay but before I show you the annotation, just want to mention that this app is very basic, very, very basic. So this is just about if you have an DWG file and you have created that full plan, even 2D and 3D, you can just open that file and add some text markups photos and arrows to the file because this is mainly for those people who don't know autocad right and they got some people to work for them such as autocad drafters and sending you a plan and you are managing that project so you can open that file in this app and then make a bit of edit and then send it back to those people to fix up the stuff so this is about it you can't pretty you can't really create anything except annotation major dimension and a little bit of uh, draw options here so so let's check out uh, annotation panel. So to check the annotation panel, I'm going to create a rectangle. Okay. Now I have 12 feet by two, and then this some weird dimension there. So annotation basically you got text. So if you click here, you start typing text, and then I'm just gonna get rid of that. Next we got cloud option in AutoCAD. If you are familiar with this, is the cloud option we have. To me, they are pretty much useless. So I don't need them. Then we got photo, you can bring the photo in, mark up, you can mark up, arrow, simple, create an arrow. All right. Next, we got measurement, right? So if you want to check the distance of this from this point to this point, now you got the distance 12 feet, 2 inches, right? One more thing here, I want to mention that if you go to the setting here, I was able to snap to this endpoint of the rectangle and this endpoint of the rectangle. The reason why I was able to do that is because object snapping is on so here you can see this object snapping you need to make sure that you turn on the object snapping and here we got object snapping modes as well endpoint intersection midpoint so you need to turn them on if you want endpoint you make sure that it's on okay let's go back now now we check the dimension this is for area this is for circle and angle as well so it's pretty simple right next we got dimension if you want to permanently uh, write the dimension on it so check it out let's go oops I actually I need to go to this file I think yep plan.dwg so let's click on dimension I'm going to click on linear now I'm gonna click here and then click here okay we got the dimension there and now we got two arrows here so if I click and drag this arrow upwards I can move my dimension so you can perform this diameter radius and angle dimensions here okay now if you want to change the layer so let's select this and click here and maybe change the color of it and let's go to the menu here now so in the layer menu you got new layer you can create a new layer and then you can set that to current lock it up rename that layer or delete that layer okay so turn off all layer invert isolate so these are basically to so turn off all the layers click here everything will be gone so this is basically still here but you can't see them because all the layers are off so i'm gonna click on turn on turn all on so stuff will come back so now we got invert option isolate option so we got two layers now right so this layer and we got this layer right so if i turn it off nothing is on this layer okay so you can isolate the object as well which is pretty cool so if you got 3d model opened in this app so you can isolate some objects very good so next we got blocks right now you can't see any blocks the reason why you can't see them because there is no blocks available in dwg file so if you have any blocks in the file you will see them here 
next we got view options right now we only got 2d option zoom extend model layout one and layout two the reason why 3d wireframe and 3d solid is grayed out is because we don't have any 3d object in our file so i will show you and open a new 3d file and then they will come back let's check out next option properties so I select this dimension now you can see that we got line type line weight color layer so if i click here and I change that layer to layer one now we have that on layer one okay that's how you change your layers on this app so pretty pretty simple let's select this rectangle and then same options here okay next we got settings i've already shown you this object snapping auto and polar is on as well so if i turn this off let's go and create another line so if i click here now i can just create a line anywhere so if that auto is on let's just get rid of this okay let's just leave that on so if the auto is on let's create a line so if i click here and now i'm not going to try creating straight up right i'm going to try uh, clicking a bit right so okay so auto is on this is going to uh, basically let you snap here now so basically you can snap that now if i click here i can rotate okay i can if i select that vertex okay i can increase the size of the line okay so you can apply you can play around with these vertices as well you got origin here you can move the origin as well now we've covered these things as well now let's go and open a 3d file so i've got these samples and let me find out we got this uh, kind of motor file here it comes with this uh, 3d app autocad 360 app so just move this here now right now we are looking at 3d wireframe view right so if i click on this menu and let's go to view now we can see 3d wireframe it's going to create that for us okay so that's the 3d wireframe if you want to look at at solid so click here 3d solid now we have a 3d solids right cool right so if you have any 3d model uh you can check it out in this app it's pretty fast you got some view options here you want to look at it from the back right left uh isometric views are here as well so let's go back now okay so uh my final review is basically you can't really make anything in this app so if you want to create something you need to go and use autocad 360 web-based apps they have pretty cool options in that such as on android phone so check it out you get 30 day trial and you can create a pretty much a 2d plan in that application so that's a web-based web application so open your chrome browser type autocad 360 on google and this will come up log it in and then you can start creating stuff so i'll do a bit of tutorial for that as well so thanks for watching guys so if you like this information please thumbs up give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe all right i'm doing um, i'm working very hard to make these tutorials for you guys so to let me know that you guys liking it please smash that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.